What is up guys, Suspense here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be doing an unboxing of the Dornbecker Jordan 5 Lowe's that just released. I wasn't planning on recording today. I need a haircut and I couldn't find my hat, but these just showed up on my door 10 minutes ago and I don't want to wait to unbox them. So let's get right into it. I'm just going to pull this before we get into the top down cam. Got a reusable box. You can see it in there. Comes in that blue box. I'll pull it out and then we can go into the full unboxing in the top-down cam. Nothing else inside the box. We have a Dornbecker Freestyle, that's pretty cool. Oh, actually, this is just something unique on the back of this box. There is that air sticker right there. <laughs> it's a blue air sticker. Normally they're just black. Maybe they're white sometimes, but I've never seen one that matches the box color. So that's pretty cool. And then here is the box label. This pair is straight from sneakers, no suggested retail, and it's got a pretty simple color code. And it just says Hyper Royal Orange. Let's hop into the top down cam and get a better look. All right, here we go. Let's take our first look inside the box. Oh, we have a sticker. I've never seen this before. Let's read this. Here we have this sticker. I'll put it up on screen and grab a screenshot of it. Michael Spitfire Wilson is a perpetually positive kid with a serious love for airplanes, sharks, and mac and cheese. His high-flying shoe features all of the above, along with cool, interchangeable patches so you can wear it your way. Michael says he's thrilled for the chance to give back to the doctors who helped save his life as an infant. Without them, I would not be in the world today. That's really cool. He is 11 years old, and his diagnosis was crab disease. And then you have this little part on the right of the sticker here as well, with a link to dornbeckerfreestyle.org. And I know it's not a lot all things considered but i'll donate 25 bucks and link this in the description down below and then we have a sticker that is already on the paper and here is one shoe and two shoes. One of my insole size tags is on the paper. We do have a YCM sticker and then a green QC sticker with red ink. And here are the shoes. Now those upcoming Jordan 5 lows, I think they're a clock collaboration. Those are actually really sick too. I think Batch mentioned this last week. I think he's uh, turning into a Jordan 5 low guy and I think I might be as well. But these are really cool. I'm gonna set this one aside just for a second and we can talk about just this right shoe. This comes with green alternate laces. There's blue flat cotton laces already inside the shoe and the laces have rainbow aglets as well both sets do and then we have a pull to eject hang tag which is really cool really like that touch and then underneath this rubber cage there looks like there's an eye here that may be for the shark it may come up with the shark teeth that's just what it looks like to me though it looks kind of like it goes with the shark teeth and it looks really cool then we have take flight on that green new buck the take is printed on behind the flight which is stitched on and then around the rubber cage is a orange new buck and some green TPU lace holes and the front of the shoe is I believe just a leather it feels kind of like a new buck that hasn't been fully sanded down and printed all over is that macaroni print with the mac and cheese lace charm I guess and that's actually metal that's a fully metal piece as well both shoes have the same thing and the rand is a red new buck which goes around to the medial side which basically has the same thing with the orange new buck around the rubber netting except this one has a swoosh in the middle of it and we have the green new buck I don't know if it's just the color but the green new Box seems to have the most movement out of all of the different colors. Then you can see the mac and cheese print around the collar. And when you get to the back tab, we have a little pull to eject pull tab on the back. And then a red jump man with MDW stitched on underneath, which I believe is probably just Michael's initials. I don't believe this says his middle name here, but his name is Michael Wilson. So that's my best guess. And then we have a white midsole with the red teeth there. And then we have a icy translucent outsole with white in the middle. And then I can't tell what this is underneath the front part. I'm not 100% sure, but it does look like there might be a little noodle there running through the center of it. And we have our transparent lace lock with a orange hit and like a cloth black tongue. I believe that's probably for the patches. A crazy orange and blue sock liner. Kind of reminds me of the Bel Air 5s. We have a cardboard shoe tree with 11 to 11 and a half and molded sock liner written inside. I wonder if these were produced recently. They do kind of have a strong glue smell. Oh, these are nice. White polyurethane insole. You love to see 
see it on nice shoes. We have some mac and cheese printed on the toe and a black Jumpman on the heel. There was a blue date code stamp at some point there, but it smudged up pretty good. And we have a nylon strobel with a good amount of white stitching in there. The back of the tongue has the tag that would normally say Air Jordan, actually says Air Michael on it. That's a really cool touch. And then I actually stand corrected. It's not a random pattern on the sock liner. This side is the mac and cheese noodles, just in blue. And then the other side says take flight. So that's really cool. And I'm going into a lot of detail in this video. So you're not gonna have their own full review, but this video does it justice with the unboxing and going over all the details. And then we have an orange inside the visible air unit there. And here is the left shoe. Everything initially appears the same. We have that green nubuck on the heel, got the eye behind the rubber netting and the red shark teeth on the white midsole, blue mac and cheese print all along the toe with the red rand and the orange nubuck, the swoosh behind the medial cage. And then everything appears the same on the back as well. We do have the MDW with the red jump man, pull to eject, pull tab, but we do have these patches. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these shoes, but these are too cool not to show you all of the different patches. But before we look at the patches, we do have an hourglass actually underneath that icy outsole. I just noticed that I was about to move this shoe out of the way. That is really cool. All right, and here are the patches. Okay, now seeing this, I may understand what was underneath the outsole of the right shoe. That is the shark patch with macaroni in its mouth. Just like this patch, except no macaroni. That is really cool. We have four patch sets in total. The almost university blue and black Air Michael Wings logo. We have the hourglass patches. Then we have a, almost like a fiery skull patch. And then those shark patches. My favorite two probably have to be the shark and Air Michael patches. Together actually, they make a really cool combo. That being said, even the hourglass and the skulls make a really cool combo as well. So I can make a case for all of them, honestly. All right, and then let's finish off this left shoe. Again, same shoe tree. Ooh, this insole is different actually. Instead of having the black Jumpman logo, we do have that skull with fire on it and we do have the macaroni up on the front as well and obviously it is still that super dense polyurethane and the back of this tongue says air michael as well and everything on the inside is the same the production date went from october of 2021 to january of 2022 but these do have a little bit of that glue smell really cool shoe all the little details absolutely love them i love the story behind it i love what doran becker does and michael knocked it out of the park with this pair what more could you ask for this is an awesome shoe so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, check out the link in the description below if you want to make a donation to the Dornbecker Foundation as well. That's it for me today, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.